Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to simply and easily block out large date ranges across multiple forms on your Gravity Forms date picker. Say you have a mountain cabin rental that isn't available during the summer months. Sure, you could go in and automatically go through every single summer and block that out, but there's definitely an easier way and I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. Alright, to get started, head to the link down in the description below to get to the code that we're going to copy and paste to get these dates blocked out. Remember to copy all the way up until the PHP line at the top. Next, make sure you have the plugin Code Snippets installed. Once Code Snippets is installed, head to the top left and click Add New. And then just paste the code that we copied earlier into the Functions PHP tab. Next, we need to find our Form ID and our Field ID, so let's head back to our Gravity Form. So to get the Form ID, just click on the Embed button in the top right hand corner. And to get your field ID, just click the settings button of your date picker and it should be on the right side. We can also check the ID of our other field in case we want to block out dates on that date picker as well. Now that we have our form ID and our field ID, we can just fill them in right here. And now we can add whatever date ranges we want to block out down below. I picked just a couple of days in May to block out, but it's worth noting that you can block out as many date ranges as you want and as large as you want by just copying and pasting these lines and changing the dates to whatever you need. You can also do this across multiple fields and forms by just copying and pasting this line and adjusting the IDs as necessary. For this example, I'm just going to use these couple of days in May, but I will leave this line in at the top so that we can see our days blocked out on multiple date pickers. Now just add a title, a description, and click Save Changes and Activate. Now if we head back to our website, we scroll down and go to the month of May, we'll see the 11th, 12th, and the 18th and 19th blocked out the way we'd expect. We could also go down to our other date picker and go over and we'll see those exact same days blocked out. And that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on how to perfect your Gravity Forms date picker. I'll see you next time.